So today I'm uh, hooking up this Pearl Economizer controller um, on this train package unit. Um, I think I've had some videos in the past that have kind of showed this product a little bit here and there. Um, <clears throat> Pelican is just a controls brand that has some pretty decent thermostats as well as this kind of extra accessory that um, I can control my economizer basically remotely. I can open, close it, um, monitor it if it's opening or closing. Um, there was a code going around here in Pacific Northwest, Pacific Northwest where you're supposed to be able to monitor economizer uh, functionality. So this is a product that we had kind of stumbled on that's been working pretty well for us to get us through all that. Inspectors seem to think it works just fine for what, what the application is and everything like that. Um, I just want to go over it briefly. I kind of pulled it off just so we can kind of, I could show it easier on this. Um, it's honestly it's pretty easy once you do a couple of them it's really not that bad but um yeah so to kind of get started is you have this little wiring module right here this is part of the thermostat um they make a couple different thermostats um and let's see i'm going to kind of show you right here on this page uh you can see on the step number two remove the pelican thermostat faceplate uh, when you do that, you'll basically get the back of a thermostat right here or here. Um, you pretty much just have to loosen up a couple little of these little screws and then this whole thing slides out of the actual thermostat. Um, you take that out and you actually put it in here. It'll slide right in. There's like three little pegs that come up on the RCD. It's basically common run data. Um, here then the picture for step four you can kind of see it here as well um, there is a little metal jumper right here that you want to make sure you get in there on the R's um, another thing that you'll get communication issues if this RCD isn't tightened down good so make sure you always tighten that down good um, now that I have this set up this way um, wherever you mount the thermostat down below you'll just have this data com power so I just have this wire bundle coming up and that is pretty much what I got going on. I just have a common run and the data wire coming from down below. Um, so that's how you wire up from down below to up here. And then from this module, you will wire up your normal RC, um, WG, W2, Y2. Um, so you just run a wire. What I did is I just ran it up, up across the top and then dropped it in here and you just kind of hook it up. Um, it's pretty standard. I mean, the book shows you really well uh, where you need to land everything, but it's pretty common for your power, your Y, your reversing valve, uh, fan, W2, which is actually my strip heat, and then uh, Y2 and common. Um, one thing that's kind of different on this is it doesn't give you an actual um, O or B terminal for reversing valve. So you actually land it on the on the W. Um, it's pretty pretty easy, straightforward. Um, make sure it's not all fuzzy here. Okay, there you go. Um, so that's basically landing all your control wiring there, and then um, then you basically get three sensors. I'm gonna try to find that. There's a page in here that kind of shows that. So you'll have like your three probes. Um, Right here, you can kind of see it's supplier, supplier temp, return air temp, outside air temp. Uh, you get three probes. Um, I always land, you get one metal one, and then, then the other two are kind of like this uh, little rubbery probe. I always put the, the metal one in the supply just because of heat and stuff like that. I don't want to worry about anything melting or anything like that. Uh, and it also, it shows it in here to do it that way. Um, Another thing is for your outside air temp, you don't just want to drill a hole and like stick it poking out or something where it's in direct sunlight or anything like that. Um, let's see here. So that is pretty much how you will run that. So they give you little decent leads on some of them where you can run it right into this deal. Uh, other ones you kind of just have to run your own thermostat wire. So I have a return sensor probe in my return. And then for the outside, I always just poke it out. You can kind of see right there. 
I just poke it out right to the outside air. Uh, you can kind of see it right right in there and I'll probably throw a zip tie on that just to make sure it doesn't slide back out or anything. And to get in here, I just remove the outside air screen um, so I can get to that. Uh, that's usually where the sensor and outside air sensor is for um, your typical economizer controls. Um, with that being said, on that point is putting this Pearl economizer in, I am basically taking out everything to do with the economizer controls that are in there. Um, we've had really good luck with Belimos. A lot of the train stuff is coming standard with Belimos, so it's worked out really well. Um, but, so, yeah, so we basically got the Belimo in here, which is gonna work good with that. But like I said, you just, you're gonna be bypassing every economizer control that came like OEM with the, the unit. Um, and then lastly, this, this unit can actually be operated for economizer controls and you can also use it for controlling like a, a VFD. Um, if you're like, say you're upgrading a older motor to a VFD or anything like that, you can actually tie it into a VFD uh, into this and control it as well um, and, and here it gives you actually honestly it gives you really good directions, but for the economizer one you can kind of see right here um, it, it tells you pretty basic, you know, you're gonna have your 24 volts going and I usually just time in over here with the common in the in the power over there and then you have your um, in and your out uh, for just the control going to the economizer. So on the old one, it was pretty easy to figure out and I just kind of leave these wires attached just in case someone ever decides to come out here and see this thing and they want to get rid of the Pelican and go back to you know the standard economizer controls. Um, so I just kind of left enough there in case someone needed to wire nut into them or anything like that and I'll just leave them that way. Um, there's no power going to this, so I'm just gonna leave them exposed. Um, just yeah I mean there's really no power going to this economizer control here um, and then I just basically time into my power in and uh, everything like that uh, as far as testing this thing um, there's like a self test you can do um, later on let's see here yeah so testing your economy uh, the actuator is right here and it kind of goes through step by step um, on how to go through everything to make sure it's opening and closing properly. And if it's actually backwards, which happens, I don't know, 50% of the time, there's literally just a button you can hit and it tells you when to hit it and it will flip, reverse it. So it's opening when it's supposed to and closing when it's supposed to. But you can kind of set this up when you're setting it up. Um, you basically just go to the Pelican website and after you do your full setup of everything, you're doing pretty much all the setups uh, on your phone essentially uh, to get the economizer to open and close uh, like it's supposed to and uh, setting it up to make sure that, you know you're letting it know it's a heat pump and kind of just going through normal thermostat setup but you're doing it all kind of remotely or on your phone um, and what's nice is you can set this thing up for alerts so if there's someone who's really picky on outside air or fresh air any of that kind of stuff you can get alerts on a lot of that kind of stuff to make sure it's all working correctly um, so I mean that's that's been a perk. We've had some people who really really want to to see every little thing that's going on uh, with the economizer functionality. You can also get on there and see history of how you know basically how long the heating cycles were, cooling cycles, what set points, everything. You pretty much get every little bit of history on the thing. Um, this video isn't really going to be going over so much as the actual programming and all that kind of stuff. It was more just kind of showing you the product, speaking a little bit about what it can do, and then um, just kind of generally how it's wired um, and everything like that. So as you can see on here too, there's like a test button. That's, that's when you're doing that test deal. And then the move, if you just want to like kind of make sure it actually can move and open and close, you can just hit that move button and it will open and close the economizers and you can make sure nothing's hung up or anything like that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything I wanted to go over. It was really just the wiring of the Pearl economizer controller. And like I said, it can do VFD controls as well. Um, we have done some sites with that as well. 
uh, where we put in our own VFD and everything, just wire it all up. Uh, but yeah, overall it's been a good product, gives you quite a bit of control and able to watch a site, not always having to go out there. You can kind of get an idea of some stuff uh, before you even go out there for diagnostics. Um, can't really think of anything else. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down below. Uh, like I said, this isn't really going over any of the, the programming or setup or anything like that. It's mostly just going over kind of how it how it's wired. So. If you haven't already, please subscribe and thank you guys for watching.